It's nice when they go in, but sometimes they don't. Today we have a bizarrely specific question asked by a viewer which I thought was relevant and need to be covered and that is why do arrows bounce off the target? Now this can happen, in this case all six arrows are embedded in the gold but in many cases you will see the arrows will bounce off the target. Uh, this could be a homemade target or a backyard target or it could be a proper professional target face and in fact there are rules which govern what will happen when arrows bounce out. So it does happen. Today's video will cover why it happens. The short, straightforward answer is quite simply, the arrow doesn't have enough energy to puncture the target. And to demonstrate this quite simply, if I were to push this arrow in by hand, you can see I've got enough force to get the arrow to lodge in the target. If I were to apply less force, for example, if I were to throw it very gently, you'll see that it bounces off. If you are launching an arrow from a bow, which is what you should be doing, then you'll find in most cases the arrows will stick. Sometimes they won't. Why? As with most of these bizarrely specific videos, there is a bit more to it and there are more factors which will work together to cause this potential problem. The first one we'll talk about is draw weight. Now I mentioned before that in most cases, even junior bows, this is about a 14 pound uh, junior bow, they should be sufficient to penetrate the target. And there we're shooting about 20 meters. I can probably shoot 30 or 40 meters and puncture this target with these arrows with this bow. Now, if you are shooting at a competition and you are a youth shooter shooting a 12 pound bow or 15 pound bow, you may find that your bow does not transfer enough energy into your arrows. Because the arrow will slow down as it goes further away, you may find that by the time it reaches the target, it will have insufficient energy to puncture the target face. Now, it's unusual and rare in competitions for an arrow to fully bounce out. Uh, what I find happens a bit more frequently is the arrow is only partially in the target. It will go past the target face, which is often cardboard, and the arrow will hang off like that. Uh, in this case, you should call the line judge. Um, the reason is that they need to score the arrow before it drops away, and worst case scenario is that someone else will split the arrow through the shaft. Um, if you leave it hanging there, then it might just fall off, and again, this is the reason why you need to score it immediately um, and likely the reason why your arrows might come off the target. Another factor is the shape of the arrow tip. Uh, most target arrows use a bullet point, so the uh, tip tapers towards a central point. It's not sharp, but it's pointy enough to puncture targets. Uh, if you use field points, it's a little pointier, uh, but same sort of function there. If you are using an arrow with parabolic points, and these are very rounded points, not bullet points, but rounded, nearly oval shaped points, they're very blunt then you may find that it may reject certain target materials because the parabolic point doesn't have a pointed tip and therefore has a wider surface area to dissipate the uh, energy or the force being applied, then it may flat out be knocked away by the target. Uh, again, in most circumstances that wouldn't be the case, but some target materials are too dense for blunter points to penetrate. So we combine a blunt point with a low draw weight and long distance, the odds of bouncing out are much higher. Something else to consider is whether the point themselves have been blunted. Uh, even with a sharp bullet point, you may hit a solid surface like wood or metal and you might shave off or blunt the tip. This might prevent you from having enough bite to puncture the target. So that's another factor behind uh, arrow bounces. The target material is also a big factor. You may find things like foam will be excellent for retaining most targets, but materials like plastic wrapping will have many air bubbles. They are more bloated, so it may be more likely that the arrow might bounce off the material entirely. Additionally, extra layers like cardboard may have a layer of air, so a low energy arrow may bounce off target in that case. 
So those are the three main factors behind uh, why arrows bounce from targets. Again, it's not a common thing, but it's not uncommon either. It's usually affecting uh, people using low draw weight, so kids might be affected, especially shooting longer distances. And the choice of target material uh, may also be a big factor in whether arrows stick or not. Anyway, I hope that was interesting and helpful. Thank you for watching. This is New Sensei, and I'll see you next time.